want your opinion on that catch now, Ricky. You've had ages to digest it as you've meandered across the outfield. What do you reckon? And the last 10 minutes in the commentary box we've been talking about it. <laughs> I, I'm worried about the inconsistencies of all of this. I mean, I can sit back and argue that Steve Smith wasn't in control of his movements either in the first innings. His was deemed to have his fingers underneath the ball. Mitchell Stark took the catch, what, three or four feet from the ground. So at some stage his fingers was, were underneath the ball. Well, I'm sure we'll get more. We'll talk about it forever. We'll get more clarification, I'm sure, overnight by the time we've spoken to the umpires. But, I mean, if you look at that, I know they're talking about the, the movement not being completed. But that's been held longer than any slips catch, any keeper's catch that's ever been taken in the history of the game. But they catch it and throw it up straight away. And sometimes you are still moving when you've done that. So I could argue that he's controlled that ball as long, if not longer, than most catches that are actually taken in the game. I suppose, and I say to, to Strauss, I haven't asked, been able to ask Maria Rasmus specifically about this, but if he's arguing that he's not in control of his movements, it's because he's using his ball to, the ball to steady himself a wee bit. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's what he'll come back to. Um, but... The inconsistencies. Was Steve, was Steve Smith yeah. doing the same? I mean, that's what I don't... And I, I think what you'll see with a lot of these is you'll, you'll see different umpires interpret that in a different way, I reckon. Right. We'll have a look at the Steve Smith catch then, because you can go through what you mean about having his fingers on the ball and then his movements after. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I spoke to you this yes, night. You I, <laughs> that he, he clearly catches that a long way above the ground. And what he said then, if you look at the way his fingers were underneath the ball, on the bottom side of the ball, the ball then, from what angles that I saw, the ball actually touched the ground, although his fingers were underneath it. And As he came up. back up, the ball came out of his hand. So is he actually in control of the ball? I think Mitchell Stark was in control of the ball longer than what Steve Smith was with his. The question I have, I mean, it's sloppy from Mitchell Stark, isn't it? I think the catch was good, but yeah. you don't let the ball just go along the ground like that. He could have easily sort of rolled his body over and made sure yeah. the ball did not touch the ground. Yeah. So it was a 100%. sloppy bit of fielding in the end. Yeah, I cannot argue with that at all.